This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, Number 42. Here we're asked to expand each of the following sums and then find the sum, okay? So we're given all these sums, and here is sigma notation, right? This is sigma. Here, n equals to 1 is our start. 4 on top is our stop. And n squared is our expression. So what we do is we start with n is equal to 1 plug it into the expression, right? So when we plug that into our expression, we get 1 squared, right? Because n is 1, and we just plug it in, we get n squared, okay? Add, right, until we stop, okay? So basically, we're going from n is 1 till n is 4. So n equals to 4 is where we stop. So what's between 1 and 4? Well, 1, 2, and 3, right? So n becomes 2, plug 2 into the expression, right? And what is that going to be? It's going to be 2 squared, right? Plus, well, n goes from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. So next is going to be 3. When n is 3, we plug that into the expression as n. It's 3 squared. And plus again, we're always adding because sigma means add. So finally, we're at n is 4. We plug n into that expression as 4. We get 4 squared, okay? n is 4 is where we stop, so this is the following, that's the sum, okay? Now let's just find the sum as it says. So let's go ahead and simplify this. 1 squared, 1 times 1 is 1. 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16, okay? So we can go ahead and add these, right? 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 is going to be 30. Okay, if you want to use a calculator to add those, that's fine. Okay, if you want to take a while to add those, one little trick that I did was I added the 4 and the 16, that gives me 20, the 1 and the 9 gives me 10, so 10 plus 20 is 30. All right, let's move on to B. Again, we're starting here at J is 2, stopping here at J is 6. So we're going to go from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, and finally to 6, right? This is just my notes here. And we're going to plug it into this expression each time, okay? So when j is 2, what do we have? We have 6 times 2 minus 2 squared, right? Plus, right, sigma means to add. So then j is going to be 3. So that's going to be 6 times 3 minus j squared, Plus, j is going to be 4, 6 times 4 minus 4 squared, right? Oops, let me write that better. Times minus 4 squared plus j is 5. We plug it in here again. 6 times j, so 6 times 5 minus j squared minus 5 squared. Plus, now j is 6. 6 times 6 minus j squared, so minus 6 squared, okay? We get to 6, so we're done. This means stop, right? This is our stop, and this right here is where we start, okay? So this is our sum right here, and now let's just go ahead and simplify this, okay? And we can use the calculator, or we could do it um, by hand. So 6 times 2 is 12. Minus 2 squared, well, minus, well, 2 squared is 4, plus 6 times 3, 6 times 3 is 18, minus 3 squared is 9, plus 6 times 4 is 24, minus 4 squared is 16, plus 6 times 5 is 30, right, this is 30, minus 5 squared is 25, plus 6 times 6 is 36, Minus 6 squared is minus 36, okay? So then let's just add these. So right away I can see 36 and negative 36 cancel out, okay? Um, and let's go ahead and add these. So I can do addition and subtraction in any order, right? And these are all adding or subtracting. So 12 minus 4 is 8, right? I'm just going to add these two. Plus 18 minus 9 is 9 plus 24 minus 16 is 8 
right? Plus 30 minus 25 is 5, okay? I'm just subtracting those. And then I add these. Well, 8 plus 9 is 17. Plus 8 is 25. Plus 5 is 30. Okay? So you can check this on a calculator. Um, but I believe you should get the same answer. I think I did everything right. Okay? So right here was plus 0. All right? So A and B are both 30. C, maybe it's 30, but I don't think so. Okay? So again, part C, we start here. We add every term because it's sigma, and then we stop when we get i is equal to 6. Okay? And this is the expression we're plugging it into. So we start with i is 3. That means we plug i here is 3. So it's 3 cubed. Plus i is 4 now. So it's 3 to the 4. Plus i is 5. So it's 3 to the 5th, plus i is 6, 3 to the 6th, and we're done, because that's the last one. Okay, so let me bring out a calculator. 3 cubed is 27. So 3 cubed is 27. You could go ahead and do it in your calculator. Plus 3 to the 4th power, right, is 81. Plus 3 to the 5th power is 243. Plus 3 to the 6th power is 729. Okay, then we could just add these. I'm going to use the calculator. 27 plus 81 plus 243 plus 729. Okay, so here I get 1080. Okay, so that is evaluating the sum, right? We're expanding this, and then we're simplifying it. All right, so that ends CPM Precalculus Chapter 2, Number 42.